Hey you who it's LJ Reaction Music with Spongebob Theory The Scream Is Scream and Scream the same or are they different? Two scripts look alike or look the same. Squilliam Fancy Son! Squilliam Fancy Son! Squilliam Fancy Son! Squilliam Fancy Son the third is Squidward's rival from high school band class. So, I just took my private yacht across my private mm -hmm. lake to my private heliport. He's more wealthy, popular, and talented than shoo, Squidward, shoo, and he always shoo. rubs it in his face. That's right! I'm living your dream, Squidward. Oh, just succeeding in everything you failed in. But I intend to prove that he's a fraud using his wealth to make himself How? seem more popular and talented than he actually is. How? He goes to ridiculously extreme and expensive mm -hmm. lengths to humiliate Squidward and show his superiority, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna prove it. How you SpongeBob gonna prove is it? one of my favorite shows from my childhood. Even going back now and rewatching the old ones, it still holds up. You might think, it's just a kid's show, there's no continuity, there's nothing worth theorizing about, but the show constantly brings back characters and references to previous episodes, and if you look closely, you can connect the dots and find some very interesting stories. And today, I'm going to prove that Squilliam Fancyson III is a manipulative fraud. How Evidence you fraud? number one, hold the hold Pet hold Hospital. Up. We first meet Squilliam in Season 2, Episode 15, Band Geeks. The episode opens with Squibber playing the clarinet and getting a knock on the door. Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street, and I understand you have a dying animal on the premises. Immediately after, Squibber gets a call from Squilliam. Hello, you've reached the house of unrecognized talent. Please start after the... Sounds as though you've got a dying animal to attend to, eh, hey, old chum? I believe that not only was Squilliam spying on Squidward to know when he was playing his clarinet, but he also hired the doctor to come and embarrass Squidward. Hold on. Oh, why? Why you gotta go do this far to embarrass Squidward? My dog! You ain't you gotta go this far. I have no clue, y'all, cause... This is ridiculous. You go this far to bring the doctor here to embarrass Scribber, and then you have the nerve, the audacity to know when you play the clear net at the right moment, at the right darn time? Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street. Pet hospital down the street. We have never seen a pet hospital in Bikini Bottom. We've only ever seen just the regular True. Bikini Bottom hospital. It we see this purple dog in Fish before, but once again, he's never worked at a pet hospital. Yes. We've only ever seen him at the regular general hospital. We've only seen well, him at the Mr. Hospital. Well, Mr. Squidpants, it seems you have the sun. Are you ready so for your treatment? Hospital. Then there's this green fish behind him, and we've only ever seen him as one of the many identical paramedics that work at the Bikini Bottom. True. Hospital. We even see him at the end of the episode to take Squilliam away after fainting. True. So it is very likely that Squilliam hired these two and told them to pretend like they're it, from a pet it, hospital it, just to it, humiliate it Squidward. To, right? But this is just the start right, of Squilliam's elaborate to. lies. I'm Evidence number two, the bubble okay. bowl. In the same episode, Squilliam also says, I'm the leader of a big fancy band now, mm -hmm. and we're supposed to play the bubble bowl next Aye. week. The problem is, I'm busy next week and can't make it, so I was hoping you and your band could cover for us. But we've never seen Squilliam's band before, and despite claiming he's too busy to make it to the Bubble yeah. Bowl, he still shows up at the end to watch Squidward's oh, band. Oh, so both oh, his excuse man. and probably his band were made oh. up to pressure Squidward into humiliating himself at the Bubble Bowl. Evidence number three, Squilliam's friends. In right, Season right. 3, Episode 8, Squilliam returns. Yeah, Squidward leaves for work and conveniently bumps into true. Squilliam and all of his fancy friends, despite Squilliam not seeming like the kind of guy that would come near the Krusty Krab. He and his friends make fun of Squidward for working as a cashier. Hold it! Don't tell me! You're a cashier! <laughs> Don't lie. Lying always wow. makes it worse. But I believe that this encounter was planned out by Squilliam in advance, and he hired all yeah. those people to pretend to be his friends. I think he only paid them to be his friend, so then they got a million scribbling. That crew and the name. This man is going way too far to just humiliate scribbling. What's your point to just humiliate one person? That's what bullies do. 
they so upset and sad and don't want to uh, say what they really feel inside them. So they got to go and pick on that one person and make them feel so bad inside that it makes them feel happy. But then at the end, they realize what the point of doing all this. Like, what the point of... A Take a look at William's friends. They're all nicely dressed. Mm -hmm. You kind of get the sense that they're fancy, high-status members of Bikini Bottom, but they aren't. Yeah. This is more they're like what the fancy rich people fish. in Bikini Bottom look like. These are just some regular Bikini Bottom True. citizens. Most of them usually don't even wear nice clothes like this. And most True. of them are regulars at the Krusty Krab and would already True. know Squidward as a cashier. Like These are not the them. type of people Squilliam would hang out with. I mean, mm -hmm. why would Squilliam be hanging out with one of Pearl's teenage friends. At the end of the episode, Squilliam even, even admits to his whole life being fake. I made everything up about my life. I have no yachts, jets, or anything. I was only trying to impress you. And then of course he quickly says he's just kidding. Is that true? Of course not! Oh. I'm filthy stinking rich! But was he kidding? I mean obviously he? he's rich, but is there a nugget of truth in there? Yeah. Evidence number four. Let's see evidence statue. Four. In Season 7, Episode 6, Squidward has to pick up trash for community service, and Squilliam once again conveniently bumps into him and reveals he's cleaned up so much trash that the city actually built a statue of him. Maybe if you clean up Bikini Bottom, they'll build a statue of you. Oh wait! They've already built one. Of me! I cleaned up all of Bikini Bottom in only one week. I believe that once again, this encounter was staged by Squilliam, and he actually paid to get that statue built. As Squilliam tells Squidward about the statue, a female fish admires it and says, Bless you, Squilliam, fancy Sim. Bless you. But if you remember, this is one of those friends Squilliam likely paid, making her whole you comment did. feel very fake. By Why? the end of the episode, Squilliam's statue gets destroyed. A police officer approaches, and they have this exchange. This is your statue? It was. Squilliam admits that it's his statue, not the city's. And why else would the officer give him specifically a ticket if it was city property? Evidence number five, the concert. In season six, Squilliam, episode 17, wait, Squidward watches Squilliam play the clarinet at a you big fancy concert. He receives now. a standing ovation, causing Squidward to leave angrily. But I believe this entire concert is a scam. Not only has the audience been paid to cheer, but Squilliam never even touches his instrument. Once again, many oh, of the audience- Hold up! Hold up a minute. So you tell me that Squidward did all his practice to be good and he's still horrible. Everybody know that. But he did all this to be good. And when he come to your concert and see you get all your cheer and everything, it make him frustrated because how Scribble do all this to become a good clarinet player. I don't get Scribble. Like, why are you going this far to a million one person? And you don't gotta go this far. Like, who in the right mind go this far? If I saw Scrimium and I had the anger, anger, I'll go and have my hand caught right back. Slap the piss out of him. Like, dude, like, you going too far. Like, he going too far for this. I shot the piss out of him. Like, Scrimium, you had the nerve to hit the man and you don't. You sit there and allow him to do this. I wouldn't allow no one to do that to me. I wouldn't, I would, I would get, get screwed up. I like, <clears throat> I wouldn't allow no one, no one mainly me like that. Members were part of Squilliam's quote unquote friends, but we also never actually see Squilliam play the clarinet. The sure. episode opens right after he's finished his performance with the audience cheering, and one member of the audience says, He's such a great musician. He doesn't even have to touch an instrument to be brilliant. Maybe the real reason Squibber leaves so angrily is because the audience cheered for Squilliam even though he never even touched his sure. clarinet. Maybe Squilliam is just as bad as Squidward at the clarinet and he's trying to hide it. Squilliam has gone to some pretty extreme lengths just to humiliate Squidward, but nothing. Evidence number six, the music college. In the same episode, after Squidward leaves the concert, he's approached by the headmistress of the Bikini Bottom prestigious music college. On to the esteemed Squilliam Fancyson the Third, who we all came here to see perform tonight. 
She mistakes him for Squilliam and offers him a position as a professor. Squidward pretends to be Squilliam and teaches a class, only for the police to burst in and arrest him, all while he's being filmed on live TV. And I believe that this is Squilliam's most elaborate and most expensive scheme to destroy Squidward both publicly and legally. This encounter where Squidward gets offered a job is already suspiciously convenient, but listen closely to their exchange. I'm... Squilliam Fancy Sam. But didn't you just say a minute ago that your name was Squidward Q Tentacles? It is. No, I mean, uh, no, no, I didn't. Well, that's a relief. I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital? What kind of moron would go to their own enemy's music recital? How does she know that Squidward and Squilliam are enemies? <laughs> if she knew who Squidward was, then why didn't she recognize him? Why would she mistake him for Squilliam? This feels oh, way yeah. too much like she oh, was hired oh, by Squilliam oh, oh. to set a trap oh. for Squidward. And if that's not enough, the headmistress's associate is literally just a guy from the paid audience wearing a disguise. He just threw on some glasses to seem smart. Squilliam knew that Squidward couldn't resist the opportunity to teach a music class, even if it meant breaking the law. My very oh, own no, music no, no, class. No, no, he's then we get to the bikini to bottom prestigious William. music college, and right off the bat, there's something very fishy about this place. The what? building itself is very green and grimy, yeah, and has a very um, cheap metal look. Nothing about this says prestigious, except for the big sign on top, which feels like the only new thing about this building. I think there is a very good chance that Squilliam just bought some old warehouse, then stuck a sign and some paint on it to disguise it as a college. I mean, look at these other schools in Bikini Bottom. They all have a very nice structure yeah. and see, a paint job. See, this is how a college supposed to be in the Bikini Bottom. Damn. I, I think screaming to buy a shack and to buy someone to make it look like a college. Like he ain't, he ain't try to put no effort to it. He ain't try to put no effort to it. But this prestigious music college looks like a dumpster. Going into the classroom, not only does it have another one of Squilliam's friends, but if this is such a prestigious college, how did Spongebob and Patrick get in here? Would you Hold two up. young skulls mind telling me what, what you're doing in Should music we... class uh -huh. anyway? How did Sure! Sh Patrick's oh, New Year's yeah. resolution was to learn to play an instrument. They say it was their New Year's resolution to take a music class, but you'd think it'd be harder for them to get into an esteemed music school if they just decided to go to it. Yeah. Seems the like they're just letting in anyone to sell oh, the streets. Yeah. Then, both the police Squilliam and the headmistress, and a live news broadcast show up at the same time to arrest Squidward for impersonating Squilliam. If the extremely coincidental fact that all of these people suddenly showed up at the same time isn't enough for you to believe that Squilliam set it all up, I've got something that's going to blow your mind. Boy. Squilliam literally has the police working for him. Squidward Chew Tentacles, I'm placing you under arrest for impersonating a genius. If that doesn't sound like he's been paid off, I don't know what does. The lengths that Squilliam goes to humiliate Squidward are insane. He literally builds statues and entire buildings just to make Squidward feel inferior. But why? Why yeah. would anyone go so far to embarrass an old high school band classmate? What happened between them? What could have caused this extreme level of dedication? Well, unfortunately, we never really get much information on their past. I've spent hours reading through the Spongebob mm -hmm. Wikipedia and looking at old episodes, and there really just isn't any clues that would explain their weird relationship. I guess we can't solve everything, but either way, that's my theory. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Wait a second. Wait a second. Season 6, Episode 5, Slide Whistle Stooges. Just a normal episode where Spongebob and Patrick annoy Squidward. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Except I have one question about this episode. Why does Squidward have Squilliam's robe? That is clearly not the purple robe he usually wears. That is Squilliam Fancy Son III's robe. Why would Squidward have this? Unless... they were more than just classmates. Could they have once been... dating? No way. That's not possible. There's, there's no evidence to support that. Right? Don't be intimidated, Squidward. Try to imagine him in his underwear. Oh no, he's hot! No. He can't be. I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital? It's been right in front of us this whole time. Our sources last saw evil harassing teenagers up at Makeout Reef. Ah, uh, Makeout Reef. Good time. Good time. Voted most likely to suck eggs in high school.
Holy shit! What the fuck?